Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today we're going to do a quick little video of adding pouches to this Iron Studios Captain America statue. Now I think this is a 1 7 scale statue because you can see by putting your hand up like that, that's about how big it is. So it's either 1 7 or 1 8. Uh, it's definitely not 1 10, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments because scales these days are really changing like crazy. But so the client that sent this to me, he says the statue's fine. There's no problems with it. Everything's fine. He just wants pouches added to it. So. I went in my box of parts and I have a lot of pouches from past custom statues but they're all made for 1-4 scale statues or 1-6 and they're just way too big to add around his belt. That would have been the easiest solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to sculpt pouches onto it and try to paint it. The idea is we got to try to do it without getting a lot of residue around the item because usually when I customize stuff it's kind of hard to add something onto it and not get like any kind of sculpting residue around the statue. So what we're going to have to do is I'll probably have to wrap around his leg some uh, saran wrap and just be able to hold him and uh, start sculpting on. So what I came up with is I used my Dremel tool and I drilled out six holes. One there, one there, and then two on the sides because we're going to add six pouches basically, none in the back. Unless after I do it and the client wants more, but we're, right now we're going to do six. Uh, so what I also did is I have these nails. You know, just regular wooden nails or any kind of nails for hobby stuff. You get them at Home Depot for houses and stuff like that. So I cut them in half and I glued them in with using my BSI glue. And then I used my Insta Set to cure it up real fast. So I just kind of been letting it dry before I put any kind of uh, saran wrap around the legs in case some of the Insta Set came and dripped down. Because I didn't want to put saran wrap around something that's liquid around this paint and then have it there for like a day and then pull it off and I mess something up. So I just wanted to make sure everything was dry. Now the reason why I put in the nails like this sticking out of the statue and has the head of the nail, that's going to help grab the magic sculpt around the piece first because just trying to like sculpt a pouch onto it without something sitting there, it's going to, it, it'll just fall off, it could snap off and stuff. You need something that's kind of like grabbing into the statue. So this is what I came up with. Now the reason why I'm going to use magic sculpt is because it's a little bit easier to sculpt sort of like the pouches. Plus it's a little bit tougher and it doesn't really get a lot of residue around like A's wood. So like with the magic scope you can use a little bit of the water on a paintbrush and sort of smooth it out a bit but it doesn't really get a lot of residue and you could kind of wipe it away which get the safety solvent from A's will actually start breaking up the paint whereas the water won't. So this is just one of those things you have to do on that type of thing. So now if you think of a pouch like the main part of the pouch is we're going to have the main part of the pouch like sculpted on like that first and then the next day we'll sculpt the lip that comes over the pouch to hold it. So it's going to be like we do this part first, get that cured up, let it sit and then either tonight or tomorrow I can actually go back and put the lip over it with like a, a little bit of a button or something, you know, just something small just so we got pouches going around. So it's going to be fairly quick and then once they're sculpted and everything looks good, it's just a matter of going back in there, maybe having to touch up a little bit of paint and then paint the pouches and we're done. So it's not really like a full blown custom. He just wants something added to it. He understands that, you know, maybe it might get a little bit messy and I'm going to clean it up the best I can. But the idea is we won't want to go to the point where I have to do a full repaint or really touch stuff up. So uh, I'm going to mix up some Magiscope now, we'll come back, we'll start, you know, just working around it. And then hopefully maybe either later tonight or tomorrow I can sculpt the top parts of it and then it'll be done.
All right, so we got the pouches on. I'm um, just going to do a little bit of cleaning up here and there, and we're going to let this cure up for the night, and then tomorrow we can start painting these up and uh, be all done. All right, so uh, the pouches are all cured up and we're just ready to paint now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably make some burnt umber, some mahogany, some of this uh, leather belt uh, paint, and then we got surface primer. You don't really need to prime this up. Uh, when you sculpt like this with Magisculpt or Aves, uh, paint bonds to it with no problem whatsoever. But what I'm gonna do is I'll mix some surface primer up with some of the burnt umber. We'll do like a basic coat. And after that, it's just kind of doing some dry brushing and washing. Just trying to make sure we can paint those pouches up without getting paint all over the item as well. And then that should work out pretty good. Uh, you know, they have surface primers of different colors, grays, blacks. Other type of companies have uh, surface primers as well. Uh, this stuff is really good, except... Uh, it doesn't really paint as well, uh, even though it, it should. It really, I don't like the way it paints on. Uh, it's better through an airbrush. But, uh, I mean, for something this small, the little bit of textures with the paintbrush will probably help it make a little bit more of a leather type look anyway. So that's kind of good. So I'm just going to kind of mix these up in here and then just start painting it up. And then once it's all done, we'll just put little tiny dabs of metal for like where the buttons would go. And then it should be ready to go. All right, so he is all finished up. Now, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but it's probably not. The pouches are like a leathery a brown, but they're dark. It may look like it's a black in the camera, like the belt, but in person, it's really different. Uh, at the end, what I did is I put a varnish uh, satin on it, and that sort of kind of changed it up. So maybe if we kind of like turn the light a little bit more this way, maybe you'll see it. But... It really changes up the sculpt, and I kind of like the idea of, you know, just adding something simple like this to a statue to really change it up and make it the way you want it. And uh, Magiscope, the, you know, the more I work with it, the more I experiment with it, the more I'm realizing, like, it's good for add-ons like this if you could get away with it. So, you know, if you have a sculpt out there and you wanted to add a pouch onto it, maybe uh, something else, but you don't want to ruin the paint at all and you don't want to get a lot of residue on there, Magiscope seems pretty good. There, I, you know, I drilled holes into the belt. I glued in nails. I let them uh, set, and then I sculpted the pouches onto those nails that make it hold onto the statue. If you try to do it the traditional way, where if you sculpt on wax paper or a piece of wood, and then you want to attach them at the end, you still got to drill into the statue and drill into the pouch to kind of glue them. Uh, Another way you could do it is you can sculpt on uh, one pouch, make it the way you want it off the statue. And then you can make copies of it in resin, and then you can attach those. So there's many ways you could go about it, but this is kind of like the faster way for something as simple as this. So, uh, you know, and just paint it up in the browns. Now, it might not, you can't see it in the camera because the light's just not really grabbing it because it's so small. Uh, but I did put a uh, little bit of tiny metallic paint on where the buttons would go on each one. And uh, that's pretty much it. So... That is the Iron Studios Captain America statue with pouches added to it. Very simple. Anyone can do it. Uh, you know, like I said, if you've got any statues out there and you want to add something to it, look up Magic Sculpt. Uh, I forget it well. You can get it at Complete Sculptor. It's really good stuff. I use it mostly for like uh, repairing statues where you got to really like bond some stuff and make it really hard and durable. But you know, I'm starting to get a little bit more used to it where stuff like this where. You don't want to get that residue on your statue like A's with the safety solvent would, and you can get away with it on this route. So, you know, it's good to have a lot of materials in your uh, arsenal so you can try different things. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Fairly simple. Anyone could pretty do it. Let me know if you guys are going to even try it on any of your stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.